Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on an introduction to green biotechnology. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos. Let's continue with our topic. Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns that have come to define Earth's local, regional, and global climates. Scientists use observations from the ground, air, and space, along with modeling simulations to monitor and study past, present, and future climate change. Climate data records provide evidence of climate change key indicators, such as global land and ocean temperature increases, rising sea levels, ice loss at Earth's poles and in mountain glaciers, frequency and severity changes in extreme weather such as hurricanes, heat waves, wildfires, droughts, floods, and precipitation, and cloud and vegetation cover changes. Climate change may bring about lower crop yields, increased soil salinity with higher temperatures, and uneven distribution of water resources triggering more droughts and more floods. Taken together, this affects our food security. As climate change looms over our future, Biotechnology is uniquely positioned to improve industrial practices and processes with more sustainable, biological alternatives. Biotechnology is already making some impact in the way sustainability is enhanced in supporting the circular bioeconomy. It is expected that in the coming decade, the continuing increase in greenhouse gas emissions will continue to raise the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This results to melting of glaciers, unpredictable rainfall patterns, and extreme weather events. The accelerating pace of climate change, combined with global population, and depletion of agricultural resources threatens food security globally. We shall in this video review areas where biotechnology is making an impact, and what is in the works ahead. Insect-resistant biotech crops require fewer pesticide sprays, which results in savings of tractor usage and fossil fuel consumption. For instance BT cotton cultivation have also led to less carbon emissions. Herbicide-tolerant biotech crops such as soybean and canola facilitate zero or no-till, which significantly reduces the loss of soil carbon or carbon sequestration and carbon emissions. Such crops also reduce fuel use and significantly reduce soil erosion for the agricultural farmland. Researchers have been working on developing crops exhibiting tolerance to various abiotic stresses, which is expected to pose challenges for crop cultivation as climate changes brings about more extreme environments that make it challenging for crop growth. Crops can be modified faster through biotechnology than conventional crops, thus hastening implementation of strategies to meet rapid and severe climatic changes. Conditions such as cold, drought, salinity, Heat requires tolerant biotech crops to be developed and improved using biotechnology. Ongoing biotech research to mitigate global warming or bring about new strategies to sustain the utilization of crop improvement. For instance, the induction of nodular structures on the roots of non-leguminous cereal crops to fix nitrogen will reduce farmers' reliance on inorganic fertilizers. Another example is the utilization of excess carbon dioxide in the air by staple crop rice by converting its carbon dioxide harnessing capability from C3 to C4 pathway. C4 plants like maize can efficiently assimilate and convert carbon dioxide to carbon products during photosynthesis. By using genetic and molecular approaches, a number of relevant genes have been identified and new information continually emerges and successful deployment in field trials raises hopes for mankind to improve crop yield to feed its ever-increasing population.